Hey fam, it's Jay Lobos coming back to you on another episode. And today I wanted to talk to you guys out there that are super frustrated, super annoyed. You're probably doing your own disputes. You're working with a credit repair company. You've been with them for months. You're going through this pandemic and you're still not getting the results that you want. Guess what guys? I always tell my customers, I always tell my sales team, I always tell my processing and my quality control staff. Guess what? The only way for us to win is by being persistent we have to be patient and we also could never, ever, ever give up. The ones that never give up are the ones that win. Nevertheless, guys, guess what? Disputing is frustrating. We're going through a pandemic. We're going through a situation that right now, the postal service, I actually spoke to the postmaster general here in Miami Gardens and he assured me, Justo, it's unfortunate, but we're short on staff. There's been COVID spreads on the factories. Things are not going where we were at at one point in time back back in February of 2020. And that's understandable. This is why we have to take these different measures. We have to do mail and return receipts. This way we have to come up with different ideas, different methods in order for us to go ahead and achieve the goal. We're constantly looking to go ahead and alter the process because guess what? Not one shoe fits all sizes. I was talking today um, to a gentleman and guess what? This, this gentleman right here has over four or five different companies, all multi-million dollar businesses. Some of them are actually in Europe. Um, he's actually looking to refinance a few of his properties, um, totaling close to almost $10 million. And the guy is so patient that he understands the value of having healthy credit. He knows that this is not an overnight situation. An older gentleman, business owner. And as a matter of fact, I spoke to somebody yesterday. And the, and the lady that I spoke to, she's been in the program for a few months. And she's like, hey, we've been doing this for already for a few months. And I want to go ahead and quit. You know what? I don't, I don't think we shouldn't, we shouldn't have been here this, this far. Have we seen success? Absolutely. Have we gotten accounts deleted? Of course. But sometimes you have to learn how to value. She just opened up a business. She's looking to get herself into a trucking. She's, she's buying multiple trucks and stuff like that. And it's beautiful, obviously, because having credit is important. And credit for me is, even as a business owner, we make profits, we make good income, that's fine. But guess what? I want a bigger building than what I actually have now. And if I don't have that money, cash money, sitting in my bank account, guess what I'm gonna use? My credit. This is not going anywhere, guys. I'm a young cat. My clients are obviously also young. If you don't do it now and you don't stick to it, you're never gonna achieve that. What's gonna happen in a year? You're still gonna need credit, no? Don't you wanna maybe get yourself into a better home, refinance your property, get that student loan? I actually have clients right now that are trying to get PhDs and they can't even get student loans because they don't have good credit anymore. Is it just gonna go away because it didn't work one way or another? You know what I'm gonna tell you guys? You yourself, you have to be on top of this. How bad do you want it? Do you want this as a quick fix? You wanna pay and get over with it? Because guess what? It's unfortunate. This is credit repair, guys. Let's be real. We have the controlled and the uncontrolled. We could control our finances, our spending habits, our lines of credits, our debt to income ratios, our payment history, but we can't control what we've done in the past. The rule says that if it happened, it has to report. But the same rule says, thank God for that rule, that if you find a mistake, find a discrepancy, find a, a violation, time restraint, statute of limitation, something, then you can go ahead, challenge it, and get it off the report, which impacts the score. I hope you guys are watching this with an open mind. Do what you have to do. Do your own homework. Do your own research. And stay on top of your game. Follow up with that person who enrolled you in that program. Find out what they're doing. What steps are, are they taking? What additional information that you need as a consumer? Are you establishing new lines of credits on a monthly basis? Are you the one that's monitoring your own credit report on a monthly basis? Are you calling that person on a monthly basis to find what happened? Are you opening up your mailbox to get the correspondence that you should have received? Be the support. Again, it's unfortunate. We kind of feel that, guess what? We're going to throw a couple dollars for a little quick fix. And that's not the way this works. I hope this makes sense. Love you guys for the love and support. I hope this information was fruitful. And if you have somebody right now that you could go ahead and share this with that needs to hear it, share it, comment, like, subscribe, guys. Till next time, let's make this happen.